In today's video, we're gonna be using the new item Great Dragon Spear. This item is so good that even pro players like CW and brands have started using it. The reason why this item is so good on Clint is because not only it provides critical chance, but also 70 physical attack and 10% cooldown reduction. The 70 physical attack will greatly increase his overall damage, and the 10% cooldown reduction helps Clint spam his skills more often. Another good thing about Great Dragon Spear is its unique passive. You gain 15% movement speed after casting an ultimate. Clint can easily activate the passive of the Great Dragon Spear, thanks to his ultimate being spammable and having no requirements to activate. The movement speed boost is gonna be useful when chasing or escaping from enemies. Sometimes I would save my ultimate and only use it when necessary. For example, I will use my ultimate if I want to go to a certain area as soon as possible. The passive of Great Dragon Spear pretty much acts like a mini version of Quantum Charge. What I love about Great Dragon Spear is that not only it provides good stats, but also better mobility. In short, Clint greatly benefits from Great Dragon Spear. Now let's proceed to the build and emblem. This is my new build and emblem setup. You can replace Blade of Despair with items you need. If you're wondering why I bought Berserker Fury first, instead of Dragon Spear, that's because Berserker Fury gives more damage and critical chance. As for the emblem setup, in the tier 1 talents, I win with agility since I prefer having mobility. But if you don't care about mobility, then Fatal is a solid option. You get more chances to crit and deal extra 10% crit damage. Now let's move on with the tier 2 talents. I've switched Bargain Hunter with Weapon Master. Reason being is that his critical build now has a lot of physical attack. Combining it with Weapon Master increases Clint's overall damage. Lastly the tier 3 talent. Not much explanation is needed. Quantum Charge for more mobility. Now that we're done let's get into the gameplay. This match is actually my 6000th rank match with Clint. Huh? I kept playing Clint, and before I knew it, I was already approaching 6000 matches. This Esmeralda is currently ranked as the top 2 global Esmeralda. This should be an interesting match smiley face. Welcome to Mobile Legends! 5 seconds till the enemy reaches the battlefield. Smash them! Launch attack! Oh, 
Retreat from the turtle! The enemy has slain the turtle! Earlier, Bauman suggested that I take the red buff. I decided not to. That's because I've noticed most of the enemies are in top lane. Florin is missing but I highly doubt she can kill me, so what I'll do instead is clear mid and bottom lane. By doing this, the minions will push and damage the towers. Not only that, but I will also get a lot of gold. I can always get the red buff later on. This wasn't part of my plan, but since the turtle spawned at bottom, the enemies got distracted with turtle and mid lane. They were so focused on turtle and mid lane that they forgot about bottom lane. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. Stop! Stop! <laughs> yeah, boy. Buddy! <laughs> I can always get the red buff later on. Noticed how the enemy's bottom lane tower HP got lowered. This is all thanks to me clearing the lanes. Instead of getting the red buff, lowering tower HP is good because it pressures enemies, controls the map, aids objectives, and creates advantages. <laughs> Meanwhile. Meanwhile, in our universe. Let's do it. Is this nigga serious? I'm just to say, 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 I'
I was flabbergasted when this moment happened. If you are interested in how it happened, here are a few reasons why. Boy, what the hell? Hey, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Reasons why Hanabi got deleted. 1. Hanabi has low overall HP. 2. I had red buff. 3. I just got lucky. Hanabi only has 4057 total HP. Clint can actually delete squishies. With 4700 HP late game with proper build and first skill, but with his ultimate it's a different story. Since it deals less damage compared to his first skill, it needs more effort to delete squishies with his ultimate, but in Hanabi's case, it's possible since she's one of the marksmen with the lowest total HP.
I'm using a different build just to demonstrate. This time around I'm using the same build in the gameplay. Let's see the damage first without the red buff. As you can see, it didn't kill, it's missing some extra damage. Now let's see the damage with red buff. The red buff is one of the main factors behind why this happened. The extra damage from the red buff helped with the finishing blow. And last but not least, the main factor as to why Hanabi got deleted is because of luck. Let me explain. In the gameplay, my build gave me a 45% crit chance. This means I had a 45% chance to crit, and a 55% chance of not critting. This is what happens if you don't crit. I just got lucky that it crit in the perfect moment. Oh, my God.